the Silvis Public Safety Team finished its last day at Tough Stump 23 on the Rocky Mountains of Montana. We want to bring some of the coolest technology we've seen in a long time. That's our newest member of the Tactical Bubble. And that's with two of our partners, CAGWorks, we have Brian Ellis with us, as well as uh, Jared Casey from VK Systems. So they're going to walk you through how their system ties into ATAC and becomes part of the Tactical Bubble. All right. So we talked about the Obscura camera and the Silvis network. So we're tied in with a Silvis 4200 here. Uh, full functionality of the radio is inside this kit. Uh, and then some of the special Cogworks technology that's in here is I, the Inner Soldier wireless radio to connect um, to other ancillary devices via a uh, secure wireless connection that is NSA approved. And then we also do some power and hub management and then a direct connection to the ATAC device from here. So what we have on ATAC is a suspected enemy position up in the valley here. And we have marked that on TAC and I'm gonna turn it over to Jared. So what we did was he embedded a sensor suite into the AR rifle stock, which is uh, compatible with any mil spec uh, six position buffer tube. Uh, has a nine degree freedom IMU a GNS, GNSS GPS module in the L1, L5 band, uh, accelerometer and uh, magnetometer. Uh, so when we fire a shot out, it's gonna give you the, G, or the origination of the shot and uh, azimuth in the direction of the fire. So we can see Jared's position here. It's gonna take just a second to pop up. And then we're live streaming his position that you can see here. And then we're gonna back out of the video player so we can get a full map Again, we have our suspected enemy position up the valley, and then Jared is gonna engage from his position and it's going to start lobbing um, firing cones onto ATAC so we can see where he's shooting from and what he's shooting towards. And so what the operator would see on his end with the Cogworks and Silvis dock is again, the origination of the shots being fired and the direction of those cones. And you can see overlaying directly over the enemy position that we had marked on the map. Um, so those cones are going right towards where Jared was firing and that's what we see on tack. <laughs> 